Welcome to Passion for Matcha, your source for matcha energy and education. Are matcha green tea bags as good as powder? We are going to look at this today. If you are passionate about matcha green tea, as we are, then you will know that matcha normally comes in powder form, which determines how matcha tea is made. However, you might have already seen green tea in bags advertised as matcha tea, such as these that you can find in the description of this video, which you can also find on Amazon, but also in many supermarkets or health food stores. Well, if you take a closer look at the ingredients of this particular type of matcha green tea bag, you will see that only the smallest part of the ingredients in this tea bag are actually matcha powder. It's only about 2%. There are, for example, sencha leaves in the tea bag. Sencha and matcha come from the same region and plant, but only matcha is further processed as powder. Follow the link in the description if you want to find out more about where matcha powder comes from. There are other brands advertising matcha green tea bags as well, but generally when tea bags are advertised as matcha or matcha blend, the actual matcha powder is oftentimes only found at the end of the ingredients list. The reason for this is that matcha is a powder. While you can get genuine, Good quality premium matcha or ceremonial matcha powder in sachet, which can be quite useful if you are not at home and still want to enjoy matcha, you can't really get 100% matcha in tea bags. If you're interested in these sachets, please check our website where we have reviewed high quality organic matcha to go that you can get in these little packets. If you had only powder and sold it in tea bags, and the powder would then dissolve in the hot water, there will be nothing left in the bag. It therefore makes sense to sell matcha in small, bag in small little packets like sachets, but there simply is no tea bag with 100% matcha powder. While the matcha blend tea bags might still make really good green tea and might really taste well as well, we find that the description is a bit confusing. It does not become very clear straight away that there is only a small percentage of matcha powder in them. We think the term matcha might only have been used to profit from the increasing popularity of matcha tea. If you genuinely want to drink matcha, then we think you should go ahead and buy 100% powder, which is the traditional way of drinking matcha. You should therefore avoid tea bags that only in include a small percentage of matcha powder. Part of the matcha experience is the way how you make matcha and the tradition that surrounds matcha. Matcha is a finely powdered green tea that is meant to be whisked with water. This is also how we recommend you enjoy your matcha. If you take a look at our channel and the other videos and also at our website, and you can find the link in the description, then you will find many matcha products that we recommend for you to try. We also recommend some of the whisks that you can use when making your matcha. If you want to learn more about the matcha phenomenon, such as matcha powder, ceremonial matcha, premium matcha or organic matcha, Please check our website or other videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we hope we'll see you in the next video. Bye.